Okay, this is coming in the front door. I'm going to turn on what lights I can. He pretty well keeps, there's so many light switches because all of the soffit lighting and outdoor lighting. Um, it does have a lot of recessed in here. It is a little, a little dark. I've got to find the, the switches. Here we go. Sorry about that. I uh, haven't successfully located the dining room switch yet. There we go. It's on a rheostat. So I'm going to go back to the front door and kind of work my way in. So front door looking back, uh, this is the living space. And you've got the dining space right here, kitchen here, master suite way over here in this corner, or master ensuite as they like to say on HGTV. Um, you have a nice linen closet when you walk in the, excuse me, a coat closet when you walk in the front door to the left. Now this is a single man, so he's not gonna do quite as well with decorating as as uh, we would like, possibly. I don't know where this light is. Oh, there's not a light in the hallway, okay. Um, here's your crawl space here. That's your AC vent. There is a separate window unit that he uses in the garage because he does a lot of work out there. This is the um, secondary bathroom. We'll walk in here real quick. Let you see what's in here. It does have the on, on oblong commode. Um, this is the one of the two bedrooms, secondary bedrooms. Pretty good size. I would say it's um, that's a queen uh, right there. So probably a 12 by 13. Both of these are. i um, going to walk into this one. It's got some pretty big furniture in here, so it really doesn't tell the tale. Uh, I am going to kind of show you what the closets look like. It has a nice set of double, double closets. It does have faux window blinds in here. has a nice ceiling fan. He keeps the fans going all the time just to because he's by himself, there's not a lot of, um, I mean, he wants to keep the, the air stared at. The cool thing is he's got the thing set on 80 and it's very comfortable in here. Um, it's a very well built home. You've got a blonde engineered hardwood in here. This is your dining space. Um, he hasn't really used it. It's, um, uh, you know, in the right setup, you might could put a, an eight-person table. The six would certainly fit easily. Uh, going to walk to the middle of the dining room and kind of show you the the living space. So there is a nice built-in here. Uh, has a gas fireplace. That is um, is actually not a built-in in the corner, but he's going to leave that piece because all of the electronics and everything run over to that area. Then you've got your back door here. It's got French doors. Really nice. Opens onto the back porch. We'll go out there and take a look in a minute. I'm standing just out of the dining room into the edge, back of the couches. So here's the kitchen. Let's go back kind of through. It's a very, very open plan. Um, you do have nice granite countertops. Uh, oak cabinets. You could convert this to gas if you chose. Has a nice island here. It's really kind of a good floor plan. It, there's the kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. Hey. This is the uh, safe room right here. Now, if you look, from here to here is concrete. Uh, has a uh, commercial stormproof door there and there it opens onto the garage uh, he also doubles this as a pantry so 
Um, he said he spends a lot of nights just sleeping in here on the couch when it gets bad weather. Um, this is the garage. It's a little bit oversized. Don't know if he's leaving that workbench. I'll ask him. Um, he, um, he does do a lot of work in here. He's got, um, laundry set up right here. So it's outside the end of the garage. Some people like that because you don't end up with near the dust in your home. Um, looks like a standard, pretty well a standard foot, you know, from, from electrical panel here over probably 22 feet right around that. And it looks like it's about 23 or four deep. Um, he used, he has a Jeep, so he doesn't have to have all that space for parking. Um, so now we're going to kind of stand here at the master opening and look back through the house. The double bedrooms and the secondary bath are through this door right here. Front doors right here to the left. And then your kitchen and your living space. Um, now this is the, this is the master. It's a really nice size. That is a king bed, uh, oversized king bed, maybe a water bed. Um, it does have, um, nice, uh, fiberglass French doors that go out onto the back porch. So here's the, the back porch and the view from it. We'll go out there in just a minute. Um, we'll go on into the, um, the bath now. We'll turn the light on in here. Here is the uh, bedroom. Let me see if I can find the light. I, sorry, I'm not doing service on that. There we go. So I'm going to stand in the bathroom door and kind of span the room so you can see it. So it's, um, you know, it's got a, a full dresser here and there's still room. So I would say this thing is 20 by 16. It's a really nice size room. Um, and then walking into the bathroom, it does have a single sink, but it's big enough for a double vanity. If you ever decided you want to change that, of course, the cabinets and all match. It does have a jetted tub and a real nice, a real nice uh, shower in here. We can see if there was some other light switches I'm missing. There we go. Okay. So here's your, here's your shower. And then your tub and your vanity. It'd be nice with some wood frame mirrors up there, but like I said, single guy. Um, then you have a really nice size closet. And I think the light switch is up there. We go light switches in here. So I would say this closet is probably six by 10. Yeah, probably maybe six by nine. Um, here's the bathroom from the closet. So we got one more spot we're going to go to. Um, we're going to go to the um, go to the back porch and take a look at it. There's a uh, looks like there's faux blinds on most of the windows this is also a fiberglass door unit so it's it's a nice unit and then you've got the back porch has uh lots of recessed lighting two nice fans i had those exact fans on my back porch at one time i mean my uh my front porch um a lot of room out here, plenty of room for, you know, entertaining if you wanted to. You could put a TV out here for football days. Um, right there's the master bedroom. This is back into the house. There's your view from the back porch. Uh, pretty much secluded. And then there's your neighbors way back over there. So, listen, thank you for letting me do this for you. I hope this uh, maybe helps you make a decision. And uh, if not, this house, we're happy to help you with another. This is Mike with Remax Traditions. Thanks.